Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 19 of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. Here we are back in our world and I've done a little bit of work. It looks a little bit nicer, you may have noticed. Uh, in the last episode, we worked in our little industrial area and made ourselves a giant automatic AFK sugarcane farm as well as built this bridge. And today we're going to continue in that industrial era and I'll show you guys how to make a really cool and effective automatic cooked chicken farm so that we don't have to worry about food ever again. Now, before we do that, I just want to kind of explain and kind of give some plans for this world. And what I normally do in survival worlds is at the beginning of the world, I make a lot of farms, a lot of AFK and auto farms like you see here. And I have some in other parts of my world just to get myself lots of resources and really prepared for what I want to do in the future. And then later on in the series, I'll do a lot more build projects, designing fancy builds, stuff like that with the resources I get from all these farms. But we made this bridge and then all I did was I worked a little bit on a little birch pathway towards this way, which I think looks really nice. Just use some logs with lanterns, added some coarse dirt, gravel, maybe give you guys some uh, inspiration for your pathways. I added a little like lumber section here. And I think what I'm eventually gonna do is keep this birch forest but at the very end here right before we get to all this industrial farm stuff put a sort of wall separating the birch forest from this plains biome and kind of keep this birch forest as a sort of lumber area i think i want to make a lumber yard a few cabins move some villagers in over here give them a few farms so they'll stay and that's what this general area will be and then the wall will separate it from this industrial area because what I want this to kind of look like is I want this to be a sort of industrial wasteland the way I want this to work is to kind of pretend like in real life all the smoke and smog and industry kind of destroyed the plant life and it's not super habitable so maybe I'll make a lot of the ground like coarse dirt and gravel replace all this grass kill all the plant life maybe make some dead trees put some sand put some uh dead bushes but we don't quite have that vibe in here yet uh we'll get that pretty soon the buildings still look pretty new i eventually want to replace some of the stone brick in the farms with some cracked stone brick or cobblestone just to make it look a little dirtier um but i did uh work a little bit to make it look a little more industrious what i did was i added these cool smokestacks to my farm and i think i'm gonna keep doing that to kind of you know fit in the vibe it's a pretty simple design like with this one i'm sure you can guess yourself all i did was i put a campfire right down there and then i put some stone brick around it to act like smoke's coming up and like this is a true industrial area i think it looks really cool if you really want you can actually put hay under the smoke and instead of going eight blocks it'll go 15 go super high i might do that with that one up there i just added one smoke stack but i added it around this creeper farm and then i also made this little pixel art of a creeper just using black and green wool and to give you guys a little bit of an update with this sugarcane farm the reason we made this was because we have the gunpowder farm already so now we can make tons of rockets to fuel our elytra flying so i actually have a decent amount of sugarcane in here i'll grab some this is definitely working really fast it's such an effective farm i definitely love it and then if we head in here really fast the gunpowder farm is also working really well i went afk for a while let's grab a little bit of that and these are the only ingredients you need to make a firework all you do is turn the sugarcane into paper and it's pretty simple but yeah, hopefully you guys get a feel for this. I'll put a wall here eventually. Keep this area. I think this pathway looks nice. I kind of use this pathway design for everything. It's not super detailed, but it's also what I like about it is it's super simple. You literally just use your shovel, make a pathway, and then randomly around it put coarse dirt, gravel, stone buttons as rocks. Occasionally, I'll build more of my own custom trees. I just built one yesterday to start. Put some vines, put a lantern. I think it looks pretty nice. It's not my favorite tree. It might adjust it a little bit. It looks a little bit funky. But regardless, I still think it looks pretty nice. So let's head into our house really fast. Make ourselves some fireworks. I also got some of my chests out of this house. So it just looks a little nicer. Eventually, like I said, I want to make a new house. I want to decorate this house and leave it to be a villager house. Um, but for now, it's still going to be my house. Let's make a ton of fireworks really fast. This is going to fill up our fireworks like crazy. But I, uh, what I did with some of the other chests 
was I moved them to my actual storage area. I'm just slowly moving my chests to my storage room because I don't want to do it all at once because it takes a long time to really sort through every item and get them in there. But let's just throw these fireworks in our chest room really fast. I haven't done much work in here either. Like I said, I was going to change this back wall to be a map wall, which I think will look really cool. But I haven't done that yet. Going to put my fireworks in our little rare items chest. And then let's keep a few fireworks with us today. The paper I'll just put in miscellaneous yeah we we have tons of gunpowder tons of paper i think we're definitely set on rockets and also you may have seen that i got mending on my elytra i did trade with my librarian villager also i did do a little bit of mining i didn't get full netherite armor again after i died but i have some decent armor now also i did have some ancient debris so i made myself a netherite sword and this is almost a perfect sword i just need to get sharpness five on it we're super close. Pickaxe is also going really good. Doesn't have efficiency 5 yet, but it has efficiency 4 and fortune 3, which is pretty nice. I do have a silk touch pick, so we're making good progress. We're not back to where we were before we died a few episodes ago, but uh, we definitely are making good progress. And now we can use this fly up here, and since we have mending, it'll be super easy to repair. So from the ground, my village looks pretty good, but when you're above like this, you realize we really haven't built much. So that's why I want to do more build projects. But we are finally going to build ourselves an AFK automatic cooked chicken farm. These are super easy to build and also get you tons of food for your world. So I'm going to grab all the materials I need. They're pretty simple materials, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so in the past, I've made probably 5 or 6 automatic cooked chicken farms on my channel, all using the same design, and I know it by heart. It works really well, and all those videos have a lot of views, so I think that's really cool. But uh, I'm going to show you guys a slightly different design today, because I thought I'd mix it up, not do the same thing every time I do a Let's Play. This design is actually from a YouTuber called Avomance's channel, and he got it from another YouTuber called Yitagarvia. So uh, let me show you guys what you'll need to build this. In this chest is all the materials you'll need. Some of them I have a little bit extra just because I had some lying about. You won't need quite 64 glass, you need about 11. Uh, you need about one and a half stacks of any type of slab, about a stack of any building block of your choice. You need a few stairs, some logs just to make it look a little fancier, and overall you won't need this much redstone or redstone torches, but this is what you'll need. It's still a pretty cheap design. Besides this, you'll also need a ton of eggs. I would recommend probably at least like five or six stacks minimum just to make sure this works, uh, you know, for sure, because you need to get chicken spawning. There's a lot of stuff around here because I just broke these trees. Um, but if you want to be extra safe, obviously just get as many eggs as you can. I have a ton just because there was a little chicken farm I had in the back of my village that was just like a small one block like chicken farm that automatically kills them. And I collected all of their eggs in a hopper. So I have a decent amount, which I will throw in the farm later. But anyways, let me show you guys how to build. This. All right, so we're going to be building this in layers just so it's easy for you guys to follow so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this for the first layer simply place a chest then grab one of your hoppers place the hopper going into the chest on top of this hopper place a slab and then behind this hopper place three of your building blocks of choice but I'm using stone bricks so I'll just refer to it as stone brick all right so then next what you're going to do is place oh, I have to be careful here place one dispenser facing into this hopper and then another one right on top of it and in this top dispenser, place your lava bucket. I also forgot to mention in, in the materials, you'll need a comparator. I just ran to my house and grabbed one really fast. But next to what you're going to do is take this hopper and place it going into this dispenser. Make sure, again, the little part is going into the dispenser and for this one into the chest or else it won't work. And then right behind here, you're going to place your comparator, except I placed it wrong. <laughs> you're going to place it that direction so that the little one dot is this way and that the two dots are over here. All right, so next you're gonna hop up here, place a temporary block on top of that hopper. Just make our way up here. If I could actually get up here, let me just break this really fast. I'll put the lava back on in a second. But what you're gonna do is grab one observer and make sure you're shifting and place it on top of this. You need to make sure that this is turned off. If it's turned on, it won't work. But make sure the observer is looking right into this comparator. Get back on top of here. And what you're gonna do is place one piece of redstone dust right there right on top of it and then looking at that piece of redstone dust 
place another observer. Pretty much how this works is this is going to be ticking on and off. This observer is going to see it lighting up that redstone piece and then this observer is going to see it. And so let me just put my dispenser back really fast. Make sure we have our lava bucket right in the middle here. And there you go. So at this point, the farm will be looking like this. I'm just going slow to make sure you guys can follow along because I know there's a lot of people out there that are like me that are absolutely horrible at redstone. I'm horrible at redstone. I can do simple things like this and make automatic cooked chicken farms, uh, but I'm definitely no mumbo jumbo. All right, so next what we're gonna do to finish off of this whole redstone contraption is just hop up here, place one redstone dust right there so that this is fully powered. And again, the way it's gonna work is it's gonna see this, let out that little redstone blip. This one's gonna see it, let out another redstone blip throw this lava out right here and this will burn all the adult chickens while leaving the baby chickens alive putting their drops in here and eventually into your chest so next what you're going to do is just come over here and build this up two blocks all the way around this entire thing all the way to the hopper and then whilst you do that you can also remove this little temporary block but yeah be careful because uh it's gonna flash it really fast, but you'll be okay as long as you're not standing right here. You're not gonna get burned by the lava. All right, so next you're gonna go to any side of this farm, doesn't matter, place a dispenser going into the hopper, and then on the other side, place a piece of glass. So this is what it'll look like now. Again, pretty simple. Dispenser, doesn't matter what side, glass, other side, just to make sure the items from the dispenser go into the chest, or sorry, items from the dispenser go into the hopper. All right, so after that, we can build this up a little bit more. Just start placing some more stone brick all the way around here like that. And then we can eventually do another layer covering all this up. I'm going to leave this exposed just for now. And then you can, there you go. All right, so next we can finish building this off. It doesn't really matter how you do it. I'm just doing this. I'm going to put some glass like this right here. Have another layer, maybe just like above there with stone brick. It doesn't really matter how you do this. The glass is just to look nice. You don't really need glass. I'm also going to take off this stone brick and add some more glass to make it look a little bit fancier. And don't worry, you can't have glass above a chest. It'll still open. And then we can cover up this little top area here. I'll grab that stone brick. Head to the back, pop up, come up to the top, cover that, and then once you're here and you've built this all up, we're almost done with the farm. All right, so next what you do, just to make it look a little nicer, this is what the tutorial does, but you don't need to do this. Just take the oak logs, because oak logs and stone brick look really nice together. Build it up on the corners, just to kind of hide a little bit of the redstone, make it look a little bit nicer. I'll eventually go through this in the future, make it look a little more industrial and stuff, but I think for the thumbnail, I'll make it look a little bit nice, just like this, just because I think that's a little bit more appealing. Oh no! Oh. I need, okay, wait, I need a little bit more oak logs, that's my bad. Let me just grab some really fast to finish that off. I also grabbed my eggs from my chest, if you didn't see, and made it day from sleeping. But let's just go over here. Boom, finish that off. And then what you're going to do is head to your little dispenser and start placing all your eggs in here. Now, the reason we have a lever is because if you want, you can place the lever on top of there and just constantly, you know, get your clicky fingers spam right click until the eggs go in there eventually making chickens but uh that takes a long time so if you want you can make a redstone clock which i'll show you and again the chickens will go in there and the way this will work is there will eventually be a ton of chickens in there that will then lay eggs that go in the hopper get shot up by the dispenser spawning more chickens right here the baby chickens will uh, stay alive, they'll be safe, but what'll happen is there'll be lava right up there that will kill all of the adult chickens that are tall enough, making it so that their drops finally go into the hopper and then into the chest, and this will get you tons of chicken. But really fast, in case you don't want to constantly right click with your lever, let me show you guys how to make a simple little redstone clock. Alright, so to make the eggs go super fast, we can make a simple redstone clock. Simply place two blocks there, one block there, redstone dust all on top of that, just like that. One redstone dust right there, just like that. Grab a block, place it there, right next to this block, place a redstone torch on that block, place one redstone dust there, another block, another torch on that block, one space away, put a piece of redstone dust, another block with a redstone torch, and then go back to your redstone dust. Let me clear this area out a little bit. And this is almost done with the redstone clock. It, it's pretty much gonna just be alternating redstone um, so that the eggs shoot in there super fast. It's really simple. So this is the design so far. I'm just going slow, so hopefully you guys can uh, follow along. You have this, after that, place another redstone dust, another redstone dust, another one, 
and one final redstone dust. And now to power this, grab your redstone repeater. You gotta be very careful. Simply break this dust, click on that, and the eggs will start automatically shooting. Sorry, I was going kind of fast there at the beginning. I wanted to slow down. But uh, there you go, it's pretty simple, just like this. Don't start by putting the repeater there or else it won't quite work, but uh, there you go. And it'll just keep shooting the eggs from the dispenser into that little area. We can put all of our eggs, and if we wait a little bit, eventually all the baby chickens will be in there as you can see and once you finish that you're pretty much done with the farm i have some extra items here again i really didn't need all of that uh, i just kind of brought everything in that chest to show you guys everything you could potentially need and then once you get all of the eggs in that little area uh you will no longer need this little uh redstone clock now be careful be a little bit warned uh this can get a little bit laggy especially once you get a ton of chickens in one area uh so just be warned of that but once all the eggs are done, I can break this redstone clock and we should be pretty much done. So then while that redstone clock is going, the reason the tutorial suggested slabs and stairs was just to kind of put around this build to make it look a little bit nicer. And I think, are we done with the eggs? Yes, we are. All right, that was pretty fast. Let me just break this whole clock really fast and you're pretty much good to go. If you have more eggs, you can keep the clock up or again, just place a lever to constantly push the chickens in yourself. You have that. They also used the slabs simply to uh, make a little bit of a roof, which I guess we can make a little bit of a roof right now just to kind of cover up all the redstone make sure it all stays safe and stuff uh, I think I'll just probably cover this little top part with slabs I won't go too in depth with the roof and then maybe do like a little overhang I'm not sure what the original creator did but I'll do what I do actually I'll go half a slab down from there do the overhang on this little oak part you could also use stairs for an overhang that'll look pretty nice but this is just to give it a little more of a nice looking feel make it fit in with your minecraft world a little bit more I gotta grab that slab up there that's bugging me. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. So then after that, again, you're pretty much done. The redstone is really simple. It's a super simple farm, and it'll start working once those adults become chickens. So hopefully this could give you some inspiration for your own chicken farm, or if you followed it uh, yourself, that's pretty good. I'll also link the original creators of this farm in the description if you want to follow their tutorials. I was also following the tutorial while doing this video, which is why I tripped up a few times and maybe had a little bit too many of certain blocks, but you know, that's just how it is. I haven't made this exact farm design, but it's pretty similar to uh, other chicken farms, so it's pretty simple. But yeah, overall, it looks pretty nice. It's very clean and tiny. The glass looks nice. We have all the chickens. Again, though, it'll st uh, it'll take a little bit to start working. It won't start working right away. We have to wait until these adults become chickens, start laying eggs, and then go into that hopper, which will spawn more chickens right there. Now, with this chicken farm, as with anything I make, if you guys have any issues with it, or it doesn't quite work, or anything is uh, wrong, leave some comments and either I'll try to respond and help you guys out or I'm sure there's other people in the comments that can help you out I've made so many chicken farms uh, in my time and have had so many issues and had to have make a lot of revisions so I'm sure this one will probably be the same I'm sure this will work uh, but if you guys have any issues just let me know hopefully we can uh, all work through it because the tutorial was made in 1.15 and there hasn't been too many changes to 1.16 redstone mechanics but there have been a few so sometimes things are buggy or sometimes people just make slight wrong changes in your chicken farm if it doesn't work or if it's taking a long time make sure you have enough chickens make sure your redstone was placed correctly make sure everything's in the right spot you know make sure your hoppers are placed into the right thing and hopefully it'll work out for you guys but i'm super excited um just to get tons of cooked chicken because my main food source in this world so far has been bread and nothing's wrong with bread but uh I've had enough of it and I think it's time that I ought to switch to another food source. So cooked chicken will be nice as long as all goes well with the farm. It should be my main food source for a long time to come. So let's hope that all goes well. Anyways guys, that's all for this episode. We're making really good progress with uh, making ourselves lots of farms here in this sort of industrial district. I'll eventually make this chicken farm look like it fits in a little bit more. It looks nice for now. I'll probably keep it looking like this for the thumbnail, but in the future I'll decorate it to, you know, have some smokestacks and look a little more broken down. Uh, but yeah, I'll also link in the description other chicken farm tutorials I've made that I know for sure work in 1.16, just in case anyone has some issues or in the future maybe they update it and it doesn't work because we're still on snapshot versions, so I'm just being uh, kind of careful. I'm, I'm never this careful making a farm like with creepers and sugarcane farms. Those farms start working automatic and super fast, so I know those work for sure. 
chicken farm. Uh, I know a lot of people have a lot of issues when making them. So again, I'm just putting a lot of resources down there to make sure that it works for you guys. But yeah, if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any uh, video ideas or anything you would want to change in my world or any ideas you could think make something look better, let me know. But this is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next one.